perfect weather to walk all day long. How much do you have to walk today? Okay, so time and date. We're in front of the church. The coordinates are this. Driver starting now. Run starting. Today we plan to do approximately 55 to 60 kilometers. We want to catch up, get back on pace, uh, and we want to go past the line of Amphipolis. So we're going straight down this valley. It's just going to be one valley with fog all day hammering. So let's hammer. Okay, so day eight. Holy moly. That is a long time to be walking. We have the church of Eleftherupoli. This beautiful, oh, I think it's a church as well. Uh, So uh, that was brutal. It's pissing down rain. My feet are decimated. I feel terrible. 25k. Save. Put my watch on charge. Everything's wet. GPS coordinates, Strava, rest time. Where's my soft serve? And funnily enough, uh, all this ancientness connects with Greece's modern history because in the first Balkan War the Greeks found um, a bunch of ruins, the plinth to the uh, lion of Amphipoli <laughs> um, when they were draining the river and the lake there and then the British who were there I think it was World War One. Uh, tried, found more stuff and tried to steal it. Also goes the uh, story. I still don't know how to use this one. Really. Still going. Uh, we're going to... Uh get to the line of Amphipoli and then try and get even further beyond that but the weather is so bad that we just need to see what is and what isn't possible so uh as days go by I do look sillier and sillier I got my green poncho okay but now I'm wearing boat shoes not because they're shoes for boats but they're basically a boat they're completely watertight I mean we'll see if they're watertight but now I've got <laughs> tape on my shoes Today's a long day. The rain's having its impact. They have these little churches, like this big, on the side of the road where someone had an accident and died. And I saw one, and because I wave it 
all the cars that go by. I, I, saw, I saw a person, and I waved, and I got closer, and I realized it's one of those small church things on a pedestal. So I think I'm hallucinating. We have a new addition to the team. Barbayani, the, the friendliest dog. Tiles, he's uh, gonna come to money, he said. You know, these, these uh, northerner dogs, they always be talking. Ba, 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 ba. But he's done a good 100 meters. He did have to go to the toilet four times. So, uh, uh, five, five times. Um, but uh, he's consistent. Seems like a good partner. Cigare, you're gonna get run over. Lesson number one. You walk in the roads of Greece. You gotta be aware where you're walking, Refile. Barba. Yanni. Catalavenis. Nakus. He never listens. Barba Yanni. Can you hold my bag? He literally just ditched his town. And he's just uh, walking with me. Keeps checking up on me. He's laying his territory everywhere. Leo, it's this out everywhere. They're very friendly. Almost, I've probably got another Guinness World Record. I'm the most barked at man alive. But uh, this guy was really nice. The only nice dog. Ella, let's see, let's see how long he comes along. I don't know. It's not like I gave him food or anything. Protect me from these other dogs because they're breaking my balls. Why are you so cool? I feel like you're old and wise and holy shit, that dog just got loose of his chain. <laughs> Lucky I got a dog to protect me. Barba Yanni, get on your See the good thing about Barba Yanni and me and I is that we just formed the perfect team. He goes out. Smooths the area ahead, pisses on everything, sees if there's any uh, scary people lurking, and I do the walking. Singing keeps him positive. He loves it. Get off the road. But yeah, you know, he uh, has, you know, advantages and disadvantages. Um, a lot of chit chat from this guy, you know what I'm saying? Just talking about my life, yes. All the time, always talking about World War II. Ba ba ba. He loves, you know, trains, Gaftago. Ask him a little bro, and his history stuff. It's a bit boring. Barba, Yanni, Gilles, Gilles. Barba, Yanni's still here. If he follows me, to Thessaloniki, which is three days away. Like he stays, if he follows me to today's camp, I'll feed him, I promise. I mean, Dale would feed him anyway, but uh, I'm not usually in the habit of feeding stray dogs, but this one is the only nice one I've seen in all of Thrace, Macedonia. But if he follows me to Thessaloniki, I will indeed adopt Balayani. Yanni, we've been through a lot together. What do you think uh, we did today? How many kilometers? It doesn't, it doesn't track. It's time to introduce Gael to Yanni. Gael? Bye bye, Yanni. He has followed me for about five kilometers. For real. For real. I just fed him. You know, if I'm feeding a dog, we're tight. So, let's wrap it up. Today I did 33, 38 kilometers. I, I would go more, I got the energy, but literally Google Maps sent me through the uh, the field, so there's not much I can do about that. Can't see a thing. This guy was loving it. Watch, second part of today, I did 12.7, stop. Nope, still don't know how to use it. We are in front of the church. Something tells me now that we have to go into a cafe and charge our stuff that he might get distracted. 
I don't know if I'm emotionally prepared for this type of loss. It's been a long day without you, my friend. That's not a dog. That one had a collar. Do you want to see a guy with a broken heart? So we're wrapping up early today. Um, didn't make it to the line of Amphipoli, but uh, Dale's cooking. Instead of finding a lion today, we found a dog. So bad. See you tomorrow.